What's up everyone? So today I'm Christmas shopping and my sister's helping me. If you haven't shopped at CVS for gifts, do it. They have some freaking amazing stuff. Got a giant beer glass for my brother. I got this work light set for my dad because he always has to bring this ridiculous light up in the attic. This for my mom. I'm dead. This for my cousin TJ. I'm getting that phone case thing right there and the back scratcher for me. And also this for my mom. And then I'm getting this. The fabled pet egg for the for the gift exchange. I still gotta find something for my sister, I'm not sure. I was thinking of getting this for my dad as well, or instead, because he always loses his freaking headphones. All right, so I just bought everything, came out to $151. I back home, and I'm gonna show you what I got my sister. So I got her this luxury palm throw. Well, I had her come help me pick out my parents' gifts, and so she's like, oh, I like that. So I got it for her. All right, so we're here at the table. I've already actually started wrapping because um, I forgot I was gonna record it. <laughs> so I got one that's already wrapped and I've got one that's partially wrapped because I remembered in the middle of it that I needed to record. And I still have two more that I need to wrap, so let's go. Right, so here's the one that's already wrapped. It's for my dad. Look at this, it's beautiful. I'm so good. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, this one's really oddly shaped, so I'm kind of trying to wrap it the same way, but also doing it a little different. I don't know. Hopefully this turns out all right. I think I need to do this. Actually turn out like I'm trying to get it to do. I already know what I'm doing for this side that I'm already doing right now, but I don't know how I'm, how I'm gonna fold this side. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Let's get this side as well. I think I'm gonna tape this down and at least hold it in place. Okay, close enough. Now, I wrapped the one for my dad first because my dad gets home from work first. So hopefully I'll be able to finish my mom's by the time she gets here, which is probably actually a couple hours later than he usually gets home, so. I'd say that looks pretty good. Besides the little mess up I did right there, but you know, it's fine. Still can't tell what it is. On to the next. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this to stay down. I hope this tape is strong enough. The best way to do it, you tape it to the end of the paper. Boom, you pull it over, you find the edge right here. Boom, you count out at least one square. And if you're doing it with paper that doesn't have squares on it, inside of the paper usually has lines on it. You can see that, I can't tell if you can or not. There we go, yeah. It's got lines on it, so you can usually see where the lines are on the inside as well. So you can measure it, and then flip the paper over and put the thing in so you can wrap it like that. I'll just count out one square. So it'll be this one right here. Doesn't have to be straight. However you cut it, doesn't matter. Because at the end, after you're done cutting, you're gonna fold it in anyways. So it's not gonna be able to be seen when you're done wrapping. I'm cutting this very slow and I don't know why. I feel like this is, my hand is in awkward position right now for some reason, even though it looks like it's normal. But there we go. Get this out of the way again. Boom. So you're gonna fold it over completely, kind of like slightly crease it, pull it up, and you can see where you slightly creased it. So then you just fold it like that all the way across. And then look at that. It's perfectly at the corner. And that's how you can't see it. Make sure it's good all the way across. And put a piece of tape on each side. And there you go. Boom, you can't even see it, bruh. And then what I usually do on the ends is I usually cut two boxes out. That way it's at least enough room for you to fold in. And if it's too much, you can do the same thing you did over here. And then of course, if you have any extra, uh, all this extra paper that we're gonna cut off, if you have something that's small enough, like this one, for instance, you can wrap it with that as well. I use the extra wrapping paper for this one to wrap this one, so it just depends on what you got. I think my dad's actually home right now, so I'm gonna do the rest of it at a time lapse. All 
I'm finished wrapping all the boxes and now I just gotta put some uh, paper into the bags with all the stuff that I'm putting in bags. Okay, so my family's here. We're about to start opening presents and I'm gonna show y'all them opening it. So did you go before me? Huh? Yeah, he did. He's just kind of going. I'm just gonna go with that. I've got a bunch of presents over here. You sure do. He's opening too! How do you have so many presents? <laughs> you like how I wrap that, Mom? I barely use tape. You just put these down the drain? Yeah. What is this? Candy sticks, it just, I guess it uh, drops red stick per month. Uh, yeah. It keeps the drain from being stinky. Kettle corn? It makes it smell like lemons for a whole month for Kettle one corn? stick. But chocolate? I might like this stuff really well. I thought you liked it. That's a good size for iced tea. <laughs> well, I drink my tea from the jug. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> That's a base. I'm not going to. Are you surprised I got it for you? How steep it? I told you I didn't get you it. It's a pedic. <laughs> All right, that is it. The day's finished, and I just want to show you what I got. Actually, it was this necklace right here. My dad got it for me. It's actually got a super nice chain, um, but it's actually two pieces here. It's got a cross on the front part, and the second part is the Philippians 413 verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's pretty sick. And I got a gift card to Amazon, and I got some cash. That is the end of this vlog, but I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all in the next one.